Okay, Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law is the electric force between two charges is proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the distance between them. So, if we translate this uh, uh, statement to equation, so this is the equation where F is directly proportional to the product of the charges Q1 and Q2. Q1 is the charge on, on charge 1, Q2 is the charge on uh, charge 2. Okay, so F is directly proportional to this the product of the charges and F also is inversely proportional to the distance between the charge. So R here is the distance okay, between the two charges. Right? So uh, and K here is the Coulomb's constant where we will use the constant uh, value 9 times 10 to the power of 9. Okay? So the force is along the line connecting the charges, okay, either attractive or repulsive. So for example, we have positive and positive charge here, two positive charges here. So for the same charges, the, the charge will, uh, the force will become repel, a repulsive force, okay. So these two charges will repel each other, okay. And uh, F here, so, so this this one will be, we will have F, F12, where F1 due to 2, and this charge will have F21, means that F2, F force on 2 due to 1. Okay, same with this one, this one positive negative and this one negative and from this example it will repel because of the same charges so this one will be F force on 1 due to 2 and this one F force due uh, force on 2 due to 1 and here you can see these two charges are from different type of charges well you can see that this one is positive and this one is negative so you will have attractive force okay so uh, we, can, we can see that these two charges will attract will attract and and uh, we will write here to be uh, f12 force on 1 due to 2 and this one f21 force on 2 due to 1 okay okay so this is the example okay when we can see that three charges here align range in a line okay so calculate the net electrostatic force on particle 3 so we have Q1, Q2, and Q3. So the question asks you to uh, to calculate the force here for Q3, okay? Due to the other two charges. So for if I can draw again here, this one let's say negative for Q3, okay? So you have uh, Q2, and then we have a negative here for Q1. So you can see that. Uh, there are two charges that will influence the total charge, the total charge on Q3. Okay, let us do one by one. Okay, let's say we have we 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 use the negative and negative here. So this one Q1 and Q3 here. So as we know that for these two charges, what will happen is that repulsive action. So it will repel, repel, uh, repel. Okay, and this one will be F13 and this one will be F31. Okay. And then the second situation we can see that uh, the positive charge Q2 and the negative charge Q3. So we can see that for Q2 it will attract to the Q3 and for Q3 it will attract to the Q2. So this is this is the force here F23. And this one F3, 2. Okay, so which forces that we need to calculate? Okay, from the question, you can see that the question asks you to calculate the net force on particle 3. So this is the keyword, the net force on particle 3 <coughs> due to the other two charges. So the question asks you to find the F3. So F3, 1 and F32. Okay, so F31 and F32. Okay, so the force on 3, the force on 3, on particle 3. Okay, so uh, you need to uh, use the, the equation, okay, right, 
the, in the previous slide, you can see the equation where let's say here F31. So F31 equals to K Q3 Q1 over R31 squared. Okay. Well, for F32, F32 equals to K Q3 Q2 over R32 squared. Q3 and Q1, you need to, uh, for the Q, you need to modulus. Make sure you modulus this one. Modulus, 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 modulus. Okay? So, you will obtain these uh, two forces. And then, uh, from here, from this result, for F31, okay, you can see that F31 here, is uh, F31 here, okay, is going to the, to the right. So, your answer here, okay, and this one to the right okay to the right and f32 you can see that f32 is going to the left so your answer and this one to the to the left okay so the total force okay the total force will be okay so the total force the net force will be because f31 is to the right so we we will use positive sign so this one f31 Okay, for F32 to the left, so negative F32. So this is the, your fi the final answer. Okay, and you can see you can try at home, well, and you will obtain F equals to negative 1.5 newton to the left. Okay, please try this question. Okay, right. So, so here is another question. Okay, right. So for this question. Uh, find the net electrostatic force. So the question asks you to find the F net. Okay. Okay. On charge Q3. On charge Q3. Show the figure due to charge Q1 and Q2. As you notice that Q, Q3 is located here. And Q2 is just below the Q3. Okay. And Q1. There are, there are some angle here. Alright. So uh, again. Uh, let us see the question first so this the question asks you to find on charge q3 means that you need to to calculate the f31 and f32 okay f31 and f32 so f31 here you can see that f31 is going down here so you, you, you can calculate uh you can get so on the f31 uh for the okay f31y and this one f31 x okay uh, if you notice that for Q3 is positive, Q2 is positive. So the F32 will be repelled here. It will be going upward. F32 will be going upward. Okay. So for this question, okay, for this question, uh, for F32, so you know the F32 will be uh, upward. Okay, going up. Okay. Okay. Or we, we can put as a upward. Okay. For F31, okay, for F31, you can see that F31 uh, will have two component because F31 is here. From the Q3 to the Q1, you can see that Q3 is positive, Q1 is negative. So F31 is, the direction is going towards the Q1. So this is the F31. But, uh, this F31 has two components, X component and Y component. So you need to uh, find the F31X and F31Y. Okay, so from here, right, from here, uh, from, uh, you, you, you will use the sign and cos, depends on the situation. For example here, I just, uh, I just use this example, F31X. So for F31X, this is a 30 degree. So for F31X is the, okay, F31X is like this. F31X is the, on the x-axis, positive x-axis. And the angle is like this, 30 degree. Okay, so this is the F, F3. And, okay, so, so here, uh, if we, if we, 
use the this 30 degree so f31s is <coughs> will be f3 uh, f31 x will be uh, f3 cos 30 okay cos you know that cos cos theta equals to adjacent over hypotenuse okay so what is the adjacent? adjacent is f3 1x over hypotenuse f3 uh, f3 okay 